YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about um, probably the most discussed card on the ban list as far as its placement. Um, you know, most people agree with it. A lot of people don't. I don't want to say most people. It's like 50-50 split. That's Heavy Storm. Uh, I'm going to give you my opinions and views on the banning of Heavy Storm. Was it right? Was it good? You know, all that good stuff. So, um, I believe that Heavy Storm should have been banned. It's definitely a ban-worthy card. Um, almost any time you talk about Heavy Storm getting banned, people instantly bring up Cold Wave. It's, it should have been banned or, you know, well, Cold Wave should have been banned instead. This isn't really the topic here, so we'll just put Cold Wave to the side. Okay, um, here's the thing about Heavy Storm. When you looked at the fact that it had absolutely no activation cost, and the amount of advantage and destruction it caused, it just it is no contest that the card is ban worthy, like period. Um, I mean, much like Dark Hole or you know, Feather Dust or Regeki, it's just mass destruction with no activation cost, and it's not themed, it can be splashed into any deck. So, I mean, that right there makes it easily a ban worthy card. Um, not in not just that but heavy storm gave you the green light for any ftk or otk and people will instantly say well cap you know giant trunade does that too so giant trunade you know should have been banned instead of heavy storm because heavy storm is healthy for the game okay i'll stop you right there because here's the only difference between heavy storm and giant trunade and why heavy storm ultimately cannot be uh, I guess perceived as healthy for the game. The only difference between Heavy Storm and Giant Trunade is that Heavy Storm can effectively be played with no intentions of an OTK or FTK. Giant Trunade cannot. That's the only difference between these two cards. That basically means that you can use Heavy Storm in much more decks than you'd ever be able to use Giant Trunade. That's why you don't see Giant Trunade being played in stuff like Black Wings, being played in you know decks that often can't OTK you or something like that. Um, to prove my point, all you need to do is look no further than something like the Glad format, where Glads rarely ever OTK you. When Glads played Heavy Storm in the Glad format, often they just wanted to make advantage, clear your back row so that they could do their moves to make advantage off of you or on you so that it would be next to impossible for you to get back in the game. This is completely different than when Heavy Storm was used in the Teledad format. When Heavy Storm was used in Teledad format, Teledad just wanted to clear your back row so they can drop a couple synchros, drop a dark arm, maybe brain control, and just OTK you in the game right there. That is the difference. You see that one card being played in two different formats, two completely different ways. Giant Trunade is pretty much always played the same exact way. That's the difference between Heavy Storm and Giant Trunade. That's why I think ultimately Heavy Storm is worse for the game. Um, now people say, okay, without Heavy Storm, People can just set, you know, all the back rows they want, don't have to worry. Well, if you remember in those formats, um, Solemn was at three, especially in the Teledad format. Solemn was at three, so it wasn't like you couldn't do that already. Um, Anti-meta decks such as Little City and Gadget and Stun, they had to do that to survive anyway. So it's not like they're magically going to start doing that now and they weren't previously. The decks were running Dark Bribe, they were running Solemn, so it wasn't like... They're magically just now getting on to doing that. The only difference is now, you know, other decks might try to do that as well. Okay. But here's the thing. It's not like Heavy Storm is absolutely vital to the game. We have tons of magic and trap hate. And I'm not even talking about like Delta Crow or, you know, something like that. I'm talking about just straight up generic magic and trap hate. Breaker. No minute extermination. What's this one? Dust Tornado. MST, which is now at two, and just about every deck that I've seen built under the September ban list is main decking two of those cards. Trap Stun, which is just going to see an insane amount of play, and Twister, still a really good card. And then Royal Decree is now at three, so it's not like we don't have a plethora of magic and trap hate. People will just have to slightly adjust their decks. It's not like without Heavy Storm, we now don't have a way to take care of back rows because ultimately we do. Um, maybe even too much. Uh, I've been talking to people and I've actually come to the conclusion that Heavy Storm was actually worse for the game than Dark Hole, and I need to explain that obviously. Here's the thing about magic and traps versus monsters it is much, much harder to rebuild a army of or a field of magic and traps that were destroyed versus rebuilding a field of monsters that was destroyed. Let's say, let's take two for example. Uh, losing two magic and traps at once versus losing two monsters at once. 
Well, the thing about monsters is we have monsters that the second that they hit the field, instantly pay for themselves, instantly make advantage. Stuff like Stratos, Gearframe, Manju, Diva, Yellow Gadget, or Gadgets in general. Okay, so the second those cards hit the field, they automatically pay for themselves. You've, you've lost nothing. And then on top of that, we have monsters that the second they leave the field, instantly pay for themselves as well. Sangam, Duke Frog, Goblin Zombie, and Dark Soul. I mean, and those are just some examples. The thing is about magic and traps are magic and traps don't do any of that. There aren't any magic and traps that the second you activate it, you instantly make an advantage. Or when it's destroyed, like if it's destroyed face down, you instantly get a plus off of it. There may be a few in the game and they're completely unplayable. So that's the difference between having something like heavy versus having something like dark hole. It's way easier to rebuild uh, monsters. And then in addition, there we don't have any generic card that instantly gets you back any magic or trap in the game. You know when it when it has been destroyed. There are tons of monster revival cards. We've got Call of the Haunted. We've got Monster Reborn now. So it's not like you can't get those guys back. So. I think a lot of people just need to calm down, especially in just testing the new format without heavy. The The thing that I think scares most people is it's not the fact that people are not setting more back rows. It's the fact that the tempo of the game has basically switched from or control of the game has basically switched from offense to defense. And when you think about skill in the game, it's a beautiful thing. And it's a thing that's absolutely great for, for Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, you won't see people... It, you, you you can't just, you know, drop five monsters or three synchros and not have to worry about it anymore because there's just so much, there's so many counters. So now you have to think, you know, what can my opponent have if they have three back row? But, you know, you still have all the hate cards. They're going to be commonly played. I've already seen a lot of people adding those in. So, guys, just chill out. Um, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of the video. Uh, give me your, uh, your comments. Um, your views because a lot of people like I say think that heavy storm was just a card that was completely healthy for the game that it was necessary banning it was the worst thing that Konami did so if you don't agree with me that's perfectly fine we don't have to agree on all things let me know what you think thanks for watching guys the capital G show is brought to you in part by duelists who shop at the men's warehouse you're gonna like the way you look while playing children's card games I guarantee it and thanks to viewers like you. Thank you.